Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective readings. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take a resonate. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. So before I get into the reading, um, I, I do want to start out by saying there there is a fight going on in the energy about you collective. And you know, before I, you know, got ready to do this reading, I was actually out um, to run an errand for a little bit. And as I was driving, these downloads kept hitting me back to back to back to back to back. And I'm like, what is this? What is going on? The energy is thick right now. There is a fight going on about you. And that's when I came back home and um, wanted to get this message out to you guys. So the first energy that's coming out is the tower, confirming what I'm just saying. It is in the energy, you guys. There is a tower. Somebody's going through a tower. A tower is, you know, something something that is uh, structurally unsound coming down, um, you know, self-eliminating beliefs crumbling, something that is abrupt, that's catastrophic, you know, disastrous even. Something is crumbling that had a weak foundation, right? And it's unavoidable. The person that's bringing the tower is the Knight of Swords, and unfortunately, Collective, that's your person. <laughs> That is your person. Um, if you were with me uh, last night, um, there's a video titled uh, your, your Person is Battling the Carmen Who Will Win. This is the energy that your person was embodying in that reading. If you have not seen that, go back. It was literally last night. Your person is in a negative energy, but this time it's for a good reason. And I'm, hey, I'm not condoning going dark. I'm just saying this is what this person decided to do, okay? Your person decided to go dark and bring a tower. Nine of Swords energy is someone who is ruthless with their words. They use their knife, their sword to cut. So it's very cutting, abrupt words. Um, yesterday, last night I made a reference that your person was going into this energy to cut the karmic off. I still feel that energy. You know, they, they are bossy and they can be very cruel, possibly deceitful. This, this is a negative energy and this is the energy that your person is embodying but they're bringing the tower because of our first uh, our second major arcana this tower is the first obviously fool is the second major arcana they're they're bringing this tower to take a leap of faith to you in our earlier readings today we did see the fool come out as well they're fighting battles to come back to you make no mistake collective they they want to you know take a you know childlike leap of faith they they hope that you will take them back after whatever happened which is why these battles are happening they're fighting their battles on their side to be able to get back to you but the your person is in this negative energy bringing a tower to this energy over here and this is the energy that i was i kept getting back to back downloads about the hard front in the inverse energy is a corrupt morally morally absent, possibly maybe illegal energy. It, it's just a very negative, corrupt, lack of morals, lack of upstanding, you know, principle energy. Whoever is in this energy doesn't do right at all. They don't believe in right. You know, and this is a group. This is more than one person. So it could be a family group, friend group, social group, spiritual group, spiritual group, church group, Political group, it doesn't matter. It's a group. It's more than one person. But some one energy is sticking out very, very heavy in the energy. It's somebody that's like an older male father figure, like a, either a father or a grandfather. This energy is very nasty. Very nasty. He does not think very highly of you, Collective. And I'm not going to tell you all the things that... I'm picking up in his energy that he thinks about you, but he does not think very highly of you. He thinks you're not enough. He thinks you're not good enough. He thinks you don't have enough for your person. It's like this person is angry that your person wants to come back to you. It's like they're trying to stand in your person's way. This is a very disgusting energy and I, ugh, ew, I don't like this energy. It's, a, it's an older male who describes himself as a silver-tongued fox. Maybe you've interacted with this person, maybe you haven't, but there's an older male person that does not think highly of you who describes himself as a silver-tongued fox. Who's trying to keep you out because they don't think you're enough. 
But let me tell you something about this energy. This energy is, and I really try to be respectful, you know, on all sides, but this person is a low life. This person has been crapped on repeatedly in their life. They're just bitter, full of hatred, and they project it on anybody. But right now it's you because your person is trying to come back to you. This person is a hateful person, but he's hateful because people hated him. So it's like, ah, eh, whatever. You know, I didn't, I didn't have enough, you know, growing up, or I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get the advantages in life, or no, I, I didn't have to, I didn't have to, you know, get things as easily as that person got it. This person hates you because you have a good life for no reason. This person, oh, I do not like this person's energy. And this is the person that your um, your person is bringing the tower to. This person came out very strong. Whoever this older male person is, I don't know. It might have been a part, part of their family, friend group, social group. It doesn't matter. This older male person is a part of a group that your person knows. The next energy that came out is the Knight of Wands. This is the karmic's energy over here. Knight of Wands energy is somebody that's very flighty. They rush in. Um, they're always in their ego. Um, they also have commitment issues. This is also the person that's getting the tower brought to them by your person. Um, and it's the, the what I feel in the energy is this is the karmic synergy and the Knight of Wands. This is whoever they were connected to, friends, family, whatever. And re remember the video that I posted last night, the karmic versus your person, they were battling last night. So I feel like your per the, the karmic had to go get back up because they, 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 they kept losing. That's what I'm feeling. Like the Carmen had to go get back up. Like they go had to go cry to their daddy or something. That's what I'm feeling. And I'm telling you, it is the image that I have in my head is like an older male figure. He's bald. He's got a pot belly. He's he's a really disgusting person, and he's just filled with hatred. I literally feel like the person, your person, is bringing towers to both of them, your, the Carmen and her daddy. The karmic's dad is who it is. Take the energy as it resonates, but I'm feeling like it's the karmic's dad because this karmic had to go run after getting defeated last night at whatever they, they were going through last night, your person and the karmic, and had to go get back up. I feel like it's the karmic's dad. This guy is disgusting. Real low life energy. When I'm talking low life, this guy is bitter, but it's only because he's been crapped on all his life. He just feels like it's his duty to do it to everybody else. But right now it's you, Collective. Next energy that's coming out is the Knight of Wands in the inverse. This is a card of having to drop your defenses or feeling weak. This is what the karmic needs to do, which is why your person is fighting. You see how it's falling right along the, uh, the Knight of Swords in the inverse? Your person is fighting so the karmic can drop their defenses against you. But here's here, here's the karmic's energy. No. Hangman in the inverse. In the inverse. No. This is my person. They're not your person. This karmic is psycho. This karmic does not want to let your person go. Th this person is literally fighting for you to get back to you. And the karmic's like, no. You can't leave. This is a psychotic person. No wonder. Her daddy's psychotic too. No wonder. Her dad is a disgusting human being. And I'm telling you, I'm really trying to be as nice as possible, but what I'm picking up in the energy, this guy is not right in the head, which is why she's not right in the head. These, that is the Hierophant in the inverse energy. It's the karmic and her dad. Take the energy as it resonates for your personal situation, but this is what I'm feeling. She needs to drop her defenses against you. She needs to give it up. She needs to let go, but she's not. Seven of Swords in the inverse. Some lies came out. What I'm feeling, the lies that came out have to do with this Hierophant in the inverse. Uh, well, namely the fact that I'm telling you who this Hierophant in the inverse energy is. I'm telling you who the who who is gassing up. Who? I'm telling you. And if you if you know what's going on around you. Let this person handle it. Let, let your person handle it. Because these two, ew, 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 ew. This is his battle to handle, not yours. Let him do it. Yeah. 
but definitely some lives are coming out. You needed to know that there was other people in the background that were stopping y'all from coming back together. Next energy that's coming out is justice. It's justice for this to happen. Your person had to fight these people. You may not have known that there was some strife going on in the background with other people that you may or may not have known about. That did have an impact on your, uh, your connection. But it's justice for your person to bring a tower, albeit whether you agree they're in dark energy right now, but whatever, they're bringing a tower for you to get back to you. They had to, because if you would have walked back into their life, these people would have done anything to stop you collecting. So your person has to fight for you because they see you as a queen of wands. This is, and check out how the energy is flowing. Nine of swords in the inverse, this is your person's energy. Nine of wands, they're trying to fight so this karmic can drop their defenses against you and give it up, you know, battling you. Queen of Wands in the upright. This is a confident, you know, proactive, protective, creative person. You got your one. You can protect yourself. You don't need anybody. This is how your person sees you, right? This is a positive energy. They're fighting for you, collective. Next energy is coming out. Nine of Cups. Your person wants to come fight for you to give you this take a leap of faith. Regardless of what the karmic is saying, even though they don't want to give them up, this person wants to give you the offer. Look who he's looking at. Look, 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 y'all. Nine, Nine of Cups is looking at the, the uh, Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands is looking at justice. Look, y'all, y'all. Do y'all see? Y'all see what I'm seeing? Y'all, y'all see what I'm seeing? Nine of Cups is giving a romantic offer, a romantic proposal, and I did pull the energy on um, this morning of somebody's about to get married. I don't know who it is in the collective. Somebody in the collective is getting married. Somebody wants to get rid of all this muck around them so they can get back to you. Outcome, the moon and the inverse. Something's getting exposed. Um, and I, obviously that's like a cliffhanger for me as an outcome. Um, but I am going to pull some more cards to get um, you know some more energy on that. Because um, something got exposed. Well, namely, whoever is in this background, whoever this older father figure is, and in, 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 in your situation, it may not be the karmic's dad, but I feel like it's some some karmic's dad. She had to go run and get her daddy because your person shut her down last night, and now her daddy's in everybody's business. Her dad is a disgusting person, old, bald, pot belly person that never had. He's just bitter, so his daughter's bitter. Ew, 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 ew. This. <laughs> now I know why the person had to go dark. In last night's reading, I said I did not understand why they needed to go dark and negative energy. Now I know why. The energy that I'm picking up is, oh, 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 oh. yeah. I get it. I don't, hey, I don't, I don't agree. There are better ways to do things, but at the same time, this part, this, that's your person's battle. <laughs> He's the one bringing the tower. Um, let's go ahead and get some advice from our animal totem so we can get some advice for these energies. Card 23, the leopard. Leopard. All right, let's see what the leopard's got to tell us. <coughs> Excuse me. Leopard is offering you a renewal of passion and fulfillment by asking you to follow your innate intuition. Calling in your spirit guide always supports you, although the light of intuition already exists deep within you. Gaze into leopard's eyes and you will see a reflection of your inner flame of knowledge. As Leopard strides silently, she also encourages you to embrace your inner quietude. The stillness grants you access to your quiet, greatest insights. Leopard presents you with the certainty, confidence, and courage to follow your uh, intuition and knowledge. That's what your person is doing right now, bringing towers to people for you to get back to you, collective. Let's get a uh, mystical oracle card and we can go ahead and wrap up our reading. Card five, blue. Let's see what this says. A woman gazes into your eyes with pride and self-confidence. She knows what she wants, and this certainty blooms out of her being like the bountiful, bountiful garden. Her hair is thick like the trees of branches, or the branches of trees, and reaching out with controlled abandon. The power of nature surrounds her, flowing both into her and out from her. What would it be like to feel disconnected and confident? What could you accomplish? What inner strength blossoms in your future achievements in this moment? I think that's what your person is embodying as well. They're doing all, excuse me, they're, they're following their intuition. They're doing all this to stay connected or to get connected back to you. All right, guys, I am going to pull some more cards to get uh, some more in this cliffhanger. Um, something I exposed, lies came out. And to be quite frank, 
it came through my download. So you just need to know there's some nasty energy that don't think highly of you, but don't you worry about it. Your person is handling your business with a tower. All right, guys, let's kind of go ahead and uh, wrap up our reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until the next time, bye-bye.